Hi there, welcome to Flex Expectations. I'm Danny Flexen. This is Seconds Out's weekly preview of the boxing actions come at the weekend. Here every Thursday at 4:30 p.m. This week, it's fair to say, is not the highest profile week of the boxing calendar of 2019. Um, when Box Nation is showing live action from the not so hotbed of uh, Wolfsburg in Germany, there's probably not a lot going on. But we're going to focus on one fight in particular that takes place in Katowice um, in Poland, which probably just edges Wolf- Wolfsburg, in fairness, for um, boxing activity. It sees local hero Marius Vak um, return from two defeats, looking for that elusive victory, a former world title challenger, of course, against Martin Bacoli, who, after a string of impressive victories, stepped up a level last time out against Michael Hunter and found himself stopped and losing for the first time against the um, then unheralded, but now probably better known American. It's a very interesting one. So Bacoli... Congolese born, um, descended from Congolese tribal royalty, now based in Airdrie in Scotland. The kind of backstory you don't really hear too much. Um, Really, really nice guy. I've interviewed him before, still in his 20s. Gave up all the kind of advantages of his birthright to pursue his boxing dream. First in South Africa, then Preston, then Airdrie. It's all the great places, of course, all the kind of salubrious locations around the world. I think Johannesburg was the place in South Africa that he was training at for a long time. The brother also of Ilunga Makabu, the world-class cruiserweight, who um, lost to Tony Bellew in that vacant WBC title fight a few years ago. Just looked really promising on the way up, power in both hands, um, quite a slick mover, agile for a big guy. And he'd been really, really hyped to the hilt by his manager and trainer, Billy Nelson, who's not shy about stating his fighters' cases, particularly on social media. But probably went a bit over the top. I think he said at one point that there was only three heavyweights in the world who'd stand a chance against them, um, against uh, Bacoli. Obviously, one of Hunter wasn't one of those, and you know, I think the comments led to having a bit of egg on the faces of both Nelson and Bacoli um, when he lost at York Hall. It's a disappointing night, you know. It started off pretty competitively, but as the fight wore on, and, and I should note that in the in the string of wins that Bacoli had had earlier, a lot of them were early knockouts. He'd only had 18 completed rounds before he went in with Hunter. Hunter, a lot more experienced, um, both as an amateur and a pro, and also lighter, former cruiserweight, faster of hand, faster of foot, regularly beat Bacoli to the punch. And as the fight wore on, Bacoli began to gas, ran out of ideas, and by the time it was stopped late on, just took a real kind of pounding. The type of fight that takes years off a career, and, and luckily Bacoli's still quite young and fresh, but he can't afford too many more nights like that. Um, so we, we, he's, he's certainly bold in aiming for his measure of redemption out in Poland against the local hero, Vak. Former world title challenger, probably just starting to go on the wrong side of the hill, um, starting to go down it. Um, but lost that to Vladimir Klitschko. He's lost his last two, as I stated. One by stoppage to Jarrell Miller. No real disgrace there. And then last time out, he dropped a contentious decision to Arthur Spilker, his countryman. So he'll be disappointed by that. Obviously, national pride was at stake in that one. He looked a bit unlucky to lose also. He is a bit slow. He is quite lumbering, um, but strong. And, and with really you know decent, respectable power too. And not bad technical skills. So he'll be expected to win. The odds are in his favour, both um, literally and, and you know, figuratively speaking. But Bacoli's desperate to get back on top. Billy Nelson said he's reacted really well to his first defeat. I suppose he would say that, but I, I kind of take him at face value on that one. Desperate to kind of reclaim the spot he was in before where people were talking about him as one of the best prospects coming through in the division. Still in his 20s, still got a chance to reclaim that spot. Um, going up against a, a you know, Polish hero in Poland... Could be the best idea they've ever had. Could be his worst nightmare. What I'd say is if you feel Bacoli can do it, um, go for him by knockout because he's probably not going to get a decision out there. And I think knockout's available around 5-2 to two with the bookies. So they're attractive odds. Um, but it's hard to back against Vac in Katowice. Um, but it is worth looking at. What I would say as well is we'd love you to engage with us in the comments below. Tell us what you think of Bacoli. Indeed, what you think of Vac and the fight. But also, is this the biggest and most intriguing fight of the weekend? Or have I missed something? Eminently possible, I know. So just let me know what you think. Um, If I've missed something, if there's a fight I should be watching that I haven't um, outlined here. And also just, I guess, what you think of flex expectations in general. I'm I'm kind of bracing myself for the barrage of possibly some negative comments among them. But I'm happy to hear them, um, even about the backdrop, if that's what, what kind of floats your boat. 
really love to hear from you. And um, we'll be back next week, of course, with the next for expectations, 4.30pm Thursday. We'll also be here with reflections on Monday, which, given the lack of action over the weekend, might have to broaden its scope somewhat. But that will be here Monday, 4.30pm nonetheless. Thank you very much and see you soon.